guys, time for a quick update. We're starting a new channel. This channel is gonna have all of the zaniness that the Vlogginsons usually have, along with all of the mayhem that we can come up with. We know you guys are looking for makeup tutorials. You wanna learn how to slather that stuff on your face, but who better to hook you up than our in-house makeup expert, Mr. Vlogginson himself. So this channel is gonna have everything that you need to know to live your life, like how-to videos, more like how-not-to videos, along with a plethora of all the stuff we can come up with, like dares, product reviews, games, and story time, songs, and music videos by Brad, with some of his originals as well, podcasts, pranks, cause you know you wanna see me scream, right? Oh, and Brad too. And of course, who could live without learning how to cook with Brad? And there'll be some baking in there, here and there, cause you know, I can't get away from that. As this new channel grows as well, you might find that we vlog just a little bit less with the editing process. If we have something going on on the other channel, we'll be editing it the same time that we're vlogging, so vice versa, they'll go back and forth. For example, if we do something on the other channel that takes a lot of editing, we might vlog a little bit less that day. But the same goes for the other channel too. We want to be full time eventually, but we're not quite there yet, so we still have to make a living, you know, go and do our jobs and then come back and do this. But hey, if you share what you like to see, you'll help us grow and someday we will have this as our full-time job. If you wanna stay connected to everything that we're doing, don't forget you have to turn on all of your notifications so you won't miss a thing. Don't forget to turn them on on all the social medias like Twitter and Facebook and uh, you know them all, I don't need to list them. <laughs> but if you don't turn on the notifications, then you miss stuff that we're making and that would just be sad. This new channel is coming out soon and we will let you guys know in the vlog, so stay tuned. All right, what's going on here? Stop chasing your brother with the sink, Scrubby. That's nasty. Stop it. So apparently Jason is in the choir. I didn't know he was in the choir. He didn't tell us he was in the choir. Jason's in the choir at school. And when you're in the choir at school, you get to go to Canada's Wonderland. So Jason's going to Canada's Wonderland to sing in some kind of choir -y event. He's been in the choir since before Christmas and didn't even tell us. I know. Margaret, as the parent chaperone, gets to, get, gets to go to Canada's Wonderland. Yeah. Guess who's not going to Canada's Wonderland? Do you want to go, Dad? Me! And guess who else isn't going to Canada's Wonderland? This girl really wants to go to Canada's Wonderland. But you're not part of the choir, sweetie. People that aren't part of the choir don't get to go to Canada's Wonderland. Mommy's not part of the choir either. But mommy's the chaperone. She's the parent chaperone. I'm not going to Canada's Wonderland. Baby girl, if you're going somewhere for dance, Jason couldn't go. Because I don't like dance. That's not the point. He's not part of dance. You're part of dance. I know, but... And he's part of choir. We'll do lots and lots of fun things over the summer, I but promise. But Kim, no wonder when is better than dance. Arthur's not going, I'm not going, Robert's not going, it's just Mommy and Jason. You could join the choir next year and maybe go. How's that sound? You wanna go to Canada's Wonderland next year? You gotta join the choir. Can I tell you a story? When I was a kid, the crossing guards, the kids who volunteered to help as crossing guards, they were like, they wore the special yellow vest and they, they helped with the actual crossing guard duties. They got to go to Canada's Wonderland. There was about eight of them. Every year there was a special trip for them where they got to go to Canada's Wonderland. I never got to go and I was always incredibly jealous. Mm -hmm. I had to do this, I had to deal with the same thing. Watching some students get what I wanted. But they got what I wanted because they did something to earn it. Jason gets to go to Canada's Wonderland because a bunch of choirs are going. It's not just him. He's going to be singing with them. Because he joined the choir. You weren't interested in the choir. It doesn't make any sense really to be interested in choir just so that you can go to Canada's Wonderland at the end. I didn't know that there was a choir. Well, didn't, Jason didn't tell you? Well, you can, maybe you can join next year, okay? Look at that big crow! It just just put something in the tree. It just had a giant piece of food and it was like, I'm gonna stash this in the tree. There it is. Oh, and it, it's now trying to bury it with pine needles. Hey, get out of my tree, you little bugger. That's my tree. What's it doing? That is a big fat crow. It is a fat, fat crow. It's like the size of a small cat.
Panther, trade you, trade you one marshmallow for two rockets. Deal? Okay. Whoa, what's that? You brought home a construction paper craft with hearts all over it. What's inside? Show me what's inside. Oh my gosh. Oh, lots of cards it's, from people. It's got your Valentine's Day loot in the it's thing. Hard. That's it's awesome. A pocket inside it. That was, so that, is that what you did in class today? Yep. Of course you did. He didn't stay in from recess and work on that. Kids don't stay in at recess. <laughs> How many honeys did you get for Valentine's today, buddy? Huh? Any girlfriend? You knock him dead? <laughs> Oh god, you're gonna make the lens melt. <laughs> Share that heart with Jason, Rachel, you and Mom and Rover, and that's how you share a heart. You get any fine honeys after Valentine's Day? No! It's actually, it's probably good actually. You're only nine. Nine year olds don't get fine honeys. When I was nine, I had all the honeys though. <laughs> I was the honey master. I was the honey badger. Well, no, I just used to badger all the honeys, and they were like, Get out of here! You're a boy! You're gross! Ew! Ew. He's got cooties! <laughs> Lots of smelly, big, fat, blue cooties! <laughs> yeah, if I met you back then, I would have been like, Ew, that's so gross! And I would have been Yucky like, boy! And I would have been like, Come here, baby, give us a kiss. Ew! And I would have been like, Run right away! <laughs> Who's this one from? This one's from who? I can't read that. From Wu-Tang? Wu-Prez? Uh, I have no idea, but it's not made of paper. Okay, tell it you love it. I love it. Give it a kiss. No! Why not? <laughs> you kiss things you love. <laughs> oh, yeah! You'll never get the pink and purple yeah. cooties off of you now. Mommy cooties for life. <laughs> I should know, I've contracted cooties. <laughs> Ow, stop hitting me. Ow! You little bugger! Get out of here! Get, get out of here! Stop it! Uh, focus! Yeah, this one here, be my sweet baboo. This Valentine illustrates the relationship between boys and girls perfectly. She's like, be my Valentine. And he's like, no, he's like, gross. And I'm betting he's breaking wind as we speak. He's like, right in her face. Hey, boys are gross. <laughs> girls fart. Yeah, it's true. Like, I just fart right now. <laughs> Women don't fart. They explode when they're 50. Yes. Oh. You're just sitting there watching Jeopardy with him one day that <laughs> And there's like wife all over the walls and the house and stuff like that. The husband's like, what happened? She was here a minute ago. Now oh. Oh, that stinks. What is that smell? It's like compressed fart. It's horrible. It's like somebody held their gas for 50. <laughs> oh now I get it. The old girl exploded, so the legends were true after all. <laughs> I've wrecked him. I mentioned farting and now he's in uncontrollable laughter on the floor. 